Hello and welcome to Anne Makes here on YouTube as well as AnneMakes.blogspot.com. Today it is part two of Craft Room Tour okay, 2017. So showing you some of the ways I I store beads. These are ice cube trays from Dollarama that have a lid, and they're here. They're empty right now, but they are great for sorting and storing beads. There's more containers there. More uh, dollar store containers for organizing. Here are those clear acrylic um, containers that Dollar Tree is set, was selling. And they were, people are putting cosmetics in them and such. And I, I use them mostly for craft supplies. Now over here is uh, the main part of the room. I don't know if you, well, if you, it was, if you look up there, you can see the window and daylight, <laughs> my only window and only source of natural light is there. So here is a shot. There's my sewing room, sewing area is over on this side. And over on this side is more my paper crafting. And that long table there uh, with the shelves holds uh, some die cutting machines and a whole bunch of little drawers, which are really practical. These I got at the uh, a dollar, dollar Tree or Dollar Rim. I can't remember now, but I labeled them all and they hold all sorts of supplies these are these shelves are closet made shelves from uh, Walmart that I use on this long table here this is actually one of those folding tables that I bought at Canadian Tire are two sets of drawers that I purchased at Dollarama and they hold more supplies that are just labeled here. This happens to be a speaker uh, for the television, so it gives me more of a movie theater sounding quality. My husband won this in uh, uh, something at work, and uh, now I have it here in my craft room. Uh, this is a... I believe it was a thrift store lamp, something very inexpensive, bulletin board that was given to me, shelf and brackets that were came from a garage sale probably. And I'm telling you all of this to show you that, um, you know, you don't have to have a lot of money. Obviously, I'm my financial situation is much better than it was when I started crafting, and I have a, a to accumulate a lot of things, um, but I've been doing it for a very long time. And I know what it's like to have zero, like zero budget for crafting. I know what it's like to not even have, to have zero money, period. And then to move up to having maybe like $5 a week or maybe a month, not even, sometimes, not every week. And um, that's how I built up my supplies. I built up my collection of tools as well. And that's one thing I, I continue to buy is tools. Tools I find, uh, la if you take care of them, they will last forever. And they're very, tools are just the best thing to buy. Supplies come and go, they change. They, they're, they're out of style quickly, um, but yeah. Tools are the way to go, and basic supplies uh, like adhesive and basic, uh, basic card stocks and basic paints and things that can be used for a variety of projects. Those are worth uh, stocking up on and buying and buying in bulk if you want. So in here, I have a variety of the decorative shoe boxes. Uh, for a while, Michaels was selling boxes like this. 
uh, quite inexpensively and I did get a few from there so in here I just store uh, texture plates and some other uh, cuddle bug die cut embossing like uh, these plates I have a, a roll of those in here and in here I have some more embossing uh, texturizing plates they're uh, some of these are very old but I still use them uh, now and then here I have my dies with the matching stamps I have them all in these little plastic bags so here you have like the metal die with the stamp this is just very basic just little sandwich bags I just keep it together in here in this box I don't have this is all I have that are dies and stamp coordinated together in this box over here I have my uh, what I call thin dies so these are my steel cut dies to use in my various die cutting machines and most of these are on a magnetic sheet that was purchased at the dollar store oops this is just stuck these are dollar store magnetic sheets and I just put them in a plastic bag I've also uh, labeled each one so I know um, the provenance of this like this was I obtained this at CHA in 2016 so sometimes it's important for me to know the manufacturer or where something came from so I keep track of that so it's not a very very fancy system but it's uh, it's organized and effective for my use tools here that I that I use and that are pretty heavy duty I have a mini vacuum cleaner here here I have uh, a bindery thing book binding machine so some of my stuff is is older but it, it still works so I still have it and in, in this bag I keep all my um, stitch paper stitching tools so over here I, I don't know if you can really make out what I have because I, I I see in the frame there's so much I fit so much stuff in so little space I know but it's what I have it's what I do and I'm happy with this so it, it suits me this is a Mastercraft uh, steel unit sold so it has steel it's all made of steel it's blue that's the color it was when it, I got it uh, these are sold for workshops um, usually manly workshops but I really really wanted one of these because it is a great surface to hammer on and such so here this is where I do uh, any work that requires hammering hot glue uh, just a little bit more date um, heat gun a little bit more dangerous than some other crafts that I do so it, it's it's a safe and solid surface for that plus I have this pegboard here that came with this unit and there's also a light and the light uh, came with this unit and Mastercraft I believe is uh, from Canadian Tire so the pegboard came with it and uh, some hooks came with it actually but I've had this for many years, so I don't even remember how much it cost. It was, it was a, a sale. It was a really, really good sale for two days, and I think I got this for around a hundred dollars. But actually, it was a gift that I asked for. <laughs> so, and I just keep a whole bunch of tools, pliers, hammers, and over, over here, here I have this small shelf unit that is repurposed. And I just have a whole bunch of glues 
and adhesives and such. So above the working uh, table here, I have these shelves and I have a bunch of these aluminum and clear plastic containers and they hold all sorts of supplies. I keep my my messy inks in here, some paints. I have a whole bunch of tools that I use like and glue sticks that are to be used with the glue guns and such. Up here I have alcohol inks. I have some of those. A lot of these are Tim Holtz products uh, there. These are my Imagine Crafts um, creative pastes products. I have a little Xyron machine up here. Well, it's a medium sized one that I, I won uh, in a scrapbook making competition, if I remember correctly. And at the very top, which you can't see, it are extra supplies that I have like, um, yeah. So the shelves go all the way up to the ceiling and it's just full, chock full of goodies. I have a series of these clear shoe boxes that were also purchased at Dollarama. And I love that they're so, they're really clear. Um, I can see exactly what's in there. And I have boxes for uh, tools, for mark making tools, I call them building tools, sanding tools, clamps, uh, different kinds of paints. That's all in there. Here, the red bag and the gray and red bin underneath. Uh, this bag holds my tools and this bin holds uh, like nuts, bolts, um, hooks, nails, all those little things that you need to hold stuff together <laughs> basically in a project. And this is my tool bag that has a hammer and a hand drill and uh, screwdrivers and just a whole bunch of stuff, even pliers and cutters. So I can take this bag in this kit and go elsewhere with it. Uh, I can move around my house. I can take it different places. Over to the right of my workbench and just beside it on the floor, I have some more storage. Uh, and here is a refurbished spice rack hanging on an old china cabinet that I got from my mom. Here is a makeshift storage unit that I, uh, that I made and it consists of a piece of wood from an old piece of furniture over some cardboard storage from the dollar store, I believe that was from Dollarama, over some cube unit that I bought uh, in a clearance, a giant tiger. <laughs> I think this whole unit here cost me a whole like $9 uh, by the time I was done putting it all together. Uh, there's even a little unit here from the thrift store. This is a little toolbox from the dollar store. I try to keep my products the together by company because I work for different companies and it's important for me to give them recognition when I use their products in a project. So right here I have uh, testers, uh, craft paints. In here I know I have more testers paints to paint metals with. Here I have a box of PBO um, glass paints. This is where I keep a uh, collection of glue sticks, various sizes and temperatures because I have different guns. Uh, here is some ink and fabric paints from the dollar store. Uh, a bin full of clothes pins. There's some empty bins back there for other projects. Down here I have a box uh, that just for some of the plaid products that I work with. And there's like a little um, mini crock pot that I use for melting wax and such. In here I have another unit uh, with all the products I work with that are from Deco Art. So they're all in this one unit. Here is uh, this little glass cabinet that you see here is one of the very first pieces I refinished. 
It was a purchase I made at a flea market for $1 years and years ago. And it was my first uh, piece that I stripped and sanded and saved. And it was, it was a mess. And uh, so I've always kept it. And now I just use it to display uh, little bits and pieces that I've collected and that I hope to use in some mixed media work one day. So in between my workbench that is here, okay, I'm trying not to move too fast, and my die cutting area that is there, I have this big table. This was our kitchen table years ago in our house when our children were younger. And when we moved into this house, and after the flood and everything, uh, the, uh, what was salvage of this table, I repurposed into a table for cutting cardboards and other messy stuff, not fabrics. Hello. So, to the left, you see that white, kind of whitish table with lots of pink on it. That was the die cutting table. Now here, you can this side here, to the right, this this tower here with the plastic drawers, that holds my steel dies. Uh, yes, the majority of my big my other steel dies. Thin steel dies are in those little boxes there with matching stamps and such. But my other dies are in here. And those gray drawers, the top drawer is full of tags, like paper tags. And the second drawer is all my cuddle bug steel dies. And then the next drawer is uh, tools for Cricut and such and cables and whatnot. And then the other drawers are... Uh, there is, uh, there's a whole whack of embossing folders. The majority are Cricut, and then there's a lot of Sizzix and uh, other companies there. So, and away above that were the, I'm trying to show you here, this one, the blue basket there. There are boxes of embellishments that I have collected. Uh, many of these actually I bought from a dollar store. Dollarama at one time had these bags of embellishments and um, yeah so there's all sorts of pieces in here so, so that's what's in there and bottle caps and a whole bunch of fun stuff. Above that is a little kitchen rack, I guess, with some bottles of embellishments, some projects that I made. Uh, there's a painting from an artist uh, in Florida. Her name escapes me right now. And, yeah, some other projects. There's my big window! Woohoo! <laughs> Okay, uh, so beside that, I'm going to back up a little bit so you can see it. Okay, there is a big dresser there that was uh, my dresser when I was a teenager. Uh, it held my clothes. This dresser has changed colors many times. It has been through many moves with me, and it's I still have it because it's a great piece to store stuff and it is stuffed really so I can show you what's in there if you want it holds embellishments it holds vintage maps vintage pattern paper envelopes vintage books there are a bunch of uh, vintage party supplies in there there are, oh, there's so much stuff. <laughs> it's really, yeah, it's chock full 
of goodies, lots of little goodies to use at, mostly as embellishments. So I would call this embellishment center. These are over here. We have boxes that came from Dollarama, chock full of supplies. I love these clear boxes with the divided storage. So yes, I have many of those and chock full of stuff. In over here on top of the dresser is a small unit um, that was part of another piece of furniture. I got this at a church sale outside. It was raining. They let me have this with a few other pieces for $5, so I couldn't say no. And I've actually used this as a decorative piece in other parts of my house and another house, but now it's here. It's for storage, and I have a bunch of these little containers uh, from Dollar Tree, Dollarama, and various other places. These are repurposed little jars that once held like a bubble bath and stuff. <clears throat> I repurposed uh, even some plates. These are for like deviled eggs and stuff. And these are great for holding a whole bunch of trinkets that are waiting to be stored, put away, you know, organized. Uh, this is also a vintage dish that was my mom's. I have that there. I just love, I love using these vintage dishes and I used to have a lot more out here but it just took up so much room to hold all my little trinkets. And here is a big glass jar that I've repurposed just to hold uh, bits and pieces of trim when I'm working on a project. This is a little tray from the Dollar Tree. A lot of the embellishments you see in here, the beads, the sequins and such, came from a variety of places. Tons came from Dollar Tree and Dollarama. There's stuff from Michaels in there. There's stuff from Walmart. There's stuff uh, from my mom's collection. There's tons and tons of places. In here, which is one of those, this is metal actually, and it's uh, clear plastic drawers. It's a very old piece that I bought <laughs> at a garage sale for like $2. It was blue and yellow. It was battered and rusted, but I fixed it up. I spray painted it white. And now it holds tons, and I mean tons, of materials that I can use in mixed media and scrapbooking projects. And I tried to use color as a form of organization or, or material. Like if it's wood, it's all in one drawer. If it's white plastic, it's in another drawer because it's a miscellaneous stuff in there. Right beside that is a little piece this comes from Michael's actually in uh, it was on the clearance it was you buy as is and it was like five dollars and it was banged up but I cleaned it up and I am using it to corral my rolls of wire above that is a three drawer little unit that I picked up at a thrift store and it wasn't that color and I don't remember what it was anymore <clears throat> but I love buying I, I love collecting and buying things with little drawers because they're so perfect for storage and everything just kind of fits here perfectly so more storage above there in a vintage uh, cookie or chocolate box some plastic boxes again from the dollar store and um, yeah, over on to the right is another shelf unit with many boxes. Again, these were purchased over the years. I've had some of these boxes for over 10 years. Um, most of them were purchased at Dollarama. 
and they are full of supplies supplies that I use mainly in scrapbooking and card making and uh, the I use also mixed media now and there's the pictures of my husband when he was a baby and much younger and it's pictures of my husband and our kids when they were babies so I have a mix of vintage and new in here it's just it's how I roll it's all mixed up these drawers again drawers that I purchased from Dollarama hold a bunch of um, bling lots and lots of bling um, like sequins and these little jewels and stuff so little bottles of those tiny tiny little beads it's all in there and here is a small crate that is from Dollar Tree with those little craft storage boxes also from Dollar Tree and in there I have sequins most of them came from Dollar Tree this is a piece that I also picked up at a garage sale for a dollar or so I like it because it's small it has compartments it has drawers and it is holding a whole whack of miscellaneous <laughs> mixed media embellishments they fit there a lot of stuff in there is heavy and it's metal so it's it's there and a lot of the pieces in there are too big to fit in any of the other boxes that I have so that's why they're in there now here is the dresser I was telling you about and as you see I labeled the first drawer as bling it is my drawer of bling be ready to be blinded <laughs> so as you can see I am a huge collector of bling and everything is stored in here by size so I have lots and lots of bling uh, a lot of it purchased at Dollar Trees a lot of it given to me by companies and yeah so it's just so much and then the lower drawer here I have the equipment some equipment pieces for my uh, Creatopia more bling this is from Dollarama in a bottom drawer here as I was selling before telling you before vintage patterns uh, even maps road maps vintage a lot of stuff for mixed media and in this drawer oh it's gonna fall down I can't show it to you really a uh, bunch of old books uh, you'll have to trust me on that one it was just gonna fall down on me a bunch of old books uh, this is a drawer with miscellaneous crafty stuff I've got buttons in here tiles I even have pom-poms in here yeah this is a drawer that needs to be organized uh, this drawer has a lot of decorative binder clips um, brads office supply brads the big ones I have a big I lucked out one day I was at a thrift store and I got this huge bag of these office supplies so I've organize them here as best I could and in this drawer which it sounds funny but there are boppy pins hair clips safety pins there's other stuff in here um, but these are things that I have put together because I didn't know how else to put them in my collection and a lot of these things what I do is I take off the pretty embellishment and use it in something else but I, I do I will use clips hair clips to hold stuff together or as a piece of something else yeah. That's there. and this drawer has mostly what I call party supplies so there are decorative toothpicks 
uh, some old decorative toothpicks, drink stirrers, uh, picks for parties. A lot of this stuff is great to you. Well, of course, toothpicks are practical to use for applying glue, but these are mostly like decor the decorative kind. Uh, that sometimes the 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 top of the pick is what you can use in a project. Great for making pocket letters, fused pockets, and such. So it's just a whole bunch of little embellishments. To me, they're embellishments. Here's a stack of papers that I've made, a variety of experiments, fusing papers, and such. So above that shelf where my embellishment center is, there are some big boxes. And in there, they uh, each box uh, is numbered. And I have a list on the wall beside there that says what's in each box. And it's mostly bulky storage of odd-shaped things. <laughs> I've got styrofoam wreaths in there and, and things made of styrofoam. A lot of things made from styrofoam and such. Uh, and I know I have a lot of... Um, See, it says there I have, like, vases in there. There's flip-flops. There's tissue paper. And there's a pink flamingo in there. And there's, oh, streamers. I have a whole box full of streamers. So, yes, it's quite the, the mishmash of supplies to be used in creative projects. This is an old spice rack that I refurbished to hold those glass beads not the they don't have holes so the beads that don't have holes but they're decorative <laughs> so thank you for watching part two of uh, my craft room tour 2017 i will be back with a third part because now we've already gone over uh, 30 minutes thank you so much for watching i hope you like this video and you'll uh, please give it a thumbs up. Any comments or questions, please have those below. And uh, take care of yourself, and I will see you after part three. Bye.